All right, hi everyone. So I am doing a another wave, um, and this one is gonna be like the dark and stormy wave that I did, and I will, if I remember, to link it down below. And the client wanted a, not a sky blue, but a much lighter blue. So she wanted kind of in between sky blue and white. So I mixed that color. It's a beautiful, almost like powder baby blue color. So that is gonna be this part of the wave up here. Again, same thing. I'm gonna try to crest it a little bit closer inward so that when I blow, it'll kind of, the crest will kind of come over here. Um, it's gonna be darker colors on the outside, so I painted my sides a dark color. And I think in another video, I'm gonna crest one long ways, but instead of making this like symmetrical rounded crest, because they're abstract a waves, I like to do them that way, but I know that that's not exactly what they look like. I think I'm going to crest it more oblong on the next one and kind of have it a little more like flowy through here. So you can let me know what you think of that idea. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. Now I have had these paints, see I just got a little lump right there. I've had these paints for actually quite some time. I pre-mix a big batch because I always use blues. And so you'll just have to make sure you get the little lumps out if there are any. I didn't paint the sides up here because this color is very opaque. It's got titanium white in it. And so I don't think necessarily that I will need to because normally opaque paints have a very good, um, uh, coverage. So let me torch this. And I think what I'll do is I'll blow this part out and then I'll start cresting these parts up here. Okay, so I am such a mess already. <laughs> I took this little, I blew most of it off and I had a little bit left over and I didn't have much here. So if I needed any corrections up here, I always like to have a little bit. So I just took a little card and my, um, you can take a spatula or my little stir stick. And I just scraped the rest of this paint up on here and emptied it back into the cup so that I would have it if I needed it to make any corrections. If I had waited, other colors would blow off the side and they may have mixed together and it may not have been the same color. So, all right, here we go. I'm gonna start, so I normally start up here with a color and layer it on down, but I'm actually gonna start, I think, with my base color back here first because this is really what she wants, is this dark color. Now I have to pay attention to this crest. Okay, and the dark color, I'm gonna layer it all the way through. Ooh, I can't talk to you and do this. There we go, okay. So, I'm gonna layer that all the way through because it gives it a 3D effect when I have the dark light, dark light, dark light colors. I have been having a problem lately with figuring out where to start blowing this way because as you turn this corner and you blow back off this way, it's difficult to get that motion to go back up forward. So if you're having problems with your waves at all, think about where you want to start blowing as well because that will change kind of the motion that you see in the painting. So I will come in next with this beautiful, it's not quite a phthalo blue. I mixed a little bit of um, a king's blue in there to brighten it up just a little bit. Like that. There we go. And then I'm gonna take what's on my table left over and make another blue out of it. I have so many blues on my table that like don't actually have a color because, like a name because I should just call them my ta Molly's table color. <laughs> um, okay, she did want a little bit of the turquoise in there as well. So I'm just gonna do just a little bit drizzled through. I say a little bit and then I pour a lot. And I'm doing a very small line here because when I blow it out, it will blow all the way up there. 
Now I'm gonna do, this is the regular sky blue, which is a little bit darker than the background. And this one I am gonna layer in as many times as I want to see the definition between the waves. Okay. And then I had this other blue color. I don't think I'm gonna use it. I think this will be enough. And then I've got, what is that? What are you? Something that fell off my cup. And then I've got this regular Amsterdam white that normally does the magic. So I'm hoping that this one's gonna stay kind of dark even though I have all these lighter colors in there. Okay, let me get one more good strip, maybe right along the line there. All right, I always tell you, wish me luck. <laughs> All right, let me pop the air bubbles first. There were a lot of air bubbles in the white. I don't always know why, but that's my, that's my color that always has the air bubbles. I feel like maybe I just want just a little bit more Okay, all right. I'm really excited to see this table blue. Okay, let's blow this out. Oh my goodness. This may be my favorite wave color combination yet. I'm gonna fiddle just a little bit on the inside here and blow some. I actually kind of like I kind of like the little pieces coming off so I think what I might do is just bring them all together and just keep it kind of like that huh I don't know what it is about making these but I it is, it's amazing. I'm, I, sorry. I still get excited. I still get excited. All right, let me move these out of the way. And I'm just gonna touch up, I'll show you my edges, the way that it falls. And because I painted them, there's really nothing else to do with them. I let whatever doesn't get covered just kind of drip down the sides. I 
I like how this one is just, it's not quite perfect and symmetrical. There's just like a couple of little dots of paint. All you have to do is, oh, wow. yes, yes, I got it on the first go. Um, all you have to do is just touch your finger with no paint on it and it will get rid of all those little extra dots that were blown. So now I'm gonna come through here. Don't mess up what you just figured out that you liked, Molly. <sighs> Blow a little bit in here. Oh, I just touched it. I just touched it. Oh no. Okay, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to blow off camera because I don't have enough. I'm not tall enough. I have this up on my paint stand, so I'm not tall enough to blow it appropriately. Maybe I'll use my straw. Oh, wow. This last little part right in here, I can do with my finger. What? I actually love this little piece right there. I'm just gonna make it just a tiny bit inward. Oh, done. Not touching this one. And I didn't have to fiddle with it. Okay, maybe it's just this one. <laughs> maybe just this one little part up there. But a lot of times lately, I've been having to like scrape the entire part up here and redo it. And oh my goodness. I'm not touching this anymore. I love it. Love it, love it. So maybe, you, okay, maybe just this one little touch right there. Okay, that's good. I'm good. I'm done. I'm done. Um, so did you see, I started back here blowing up first into here, then out a little bit. Then I caught it right back here and kind of started to blow it around and then worked my way back up to that side. Working on a square canvas to get something that is a cresting type shape can be very difficult, but that is the way to do it, is to think about that. And I, I'm, you know what, I'm not touching it. Nope, not touching it, done. All right, let me show you. This might be, it might be the best one yet. I say that quite often. I know, I'm sorry, but I love this one. Okay, fingers crossed that this dries well. There's like all those like watery, wispy pieces. There's the, the crest. And you see how I said that it would fill up that space even though it was a very small line to begin with? So that's like another tip if you are trying to get these wave designs and you're just not getting them the same as I get them, but that dark base, oh, so pretty. All right, well, I will show you how this one dries. Look at how 3D it looks. Wow, oh, and I said I would show you my sides. So see, I just let the paint drip down the sides and it will dry just like that. 
and I'll clean up the bottoms and everything, but I just leave them just like that. So, hope you enjoyed this one. I'm excited. Let me know. Please like, comment, and share. Let other people know. It really helps my channel. I appreciate you all so much, and I am going to show you the dried result. So I just wanted to show you what a beautiful color this ended up making. If you can see that, it's a gorgeous blue. Almost like a, I don't know, it's got like a, almost like a turquoise, a dark turquoise blue. It is gorgeous, but all I do is take it just like that snap my little lid on my jars. I've got them in my Amazon store and that will stay until I use that again. If they have water in them, I normally try to use them in a few weeks just for fear of mold, but if they're airtight, they could last even longer. So just make sure you have a good lid on there. And I've used them, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks later and I just stir them up, maybe add a little bit more water. Take a look at that reaction that's right there from that, oh my gosh. Oh, I still love fluid art so much. I hope that you do too. Okay, now for the dried result. I am so pleased with this piece. It is just gorgeous. And I like that the wave is a little bit more kind of messy, the, the crest, the dark colors, the Payne's gray. Oh, my lighting is a little bit off. There we go. Look at that. How amazing are those reactions? That's creative inspiration paint mixed with Amsterdam paint. Up close. Just some really amazing. I'm, I'm super excited about this one. And she loved it. So that is good. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye.